Welcome to Switched On Schoolhouse, a CD-ROM based homeschool curriculum from Alpha Omega Publications. Switched On Schoolhouse General Science 2 is a middle school science course that is typically included in an 8th grade course of study and includes units on science and society, health and nutrition, energy, machines, science and technology, and much more. Now let's take a look at a General Science 2 lesson to see how topics like these are covered. In a unit entitled Science and Society, let's look at a lesson called Science and Technology. Most Switched on Schoolhouse lessons begin with a brief introduction and a list of objectives for the lesson. These objectives help students stay focused on important lesson content and provide parents with an effective way to measure mastery of lesson content. At the beginning of most lessons, your students will also encounter a list of vocabulary words that will be used throughout the lesson. We've included several activities to encourage mastery of these important words. For example, students can hear the correct pronunciation of each word. Industry. Shadoof. In addition, the vocabulary arcade games encourage mastery of the vocabulary words by providing practice in the correct spelling of each word and in matching each word with its definition. Flashcards allow students to easily review the words and their definitions. Auditory learners may benefit from hearing text read aloud as they follow along. To utilize this feature, students select a portion of text, right-click to select from available voices or to read the text. An effective study skill that students should be encouraged to use is highlighting. Just as one would highlight portions of text in a traditional textbook, students can highlight text in their Switched On Schoolhouse lessons. Simply select a portion of text and select a highlighter color from the choices at the top of the page. Many lessons include small instructional videos, sometimes called Tiny Tutors. The teachers featured in these small video clips provide special instructions, additional information, and important tips for students. Technology does give rise to industry. When technological advancements are made, this gives rise to making products that reflect these advancements. Give you an example, you ask? What about the course you're currently taking and the format the information you're learning is coming to you in? Even this tiny tutor you're watching. <clears throat> All these are advancements in technology that have given rise to industry. Switched on schoolhouse lessons are often filled with colorful photographs, maps, illustrations, and diagrams that are designed to enhance the learning environment and assist students in mastering lesson content. A variety of audio-visual presentations, including videos, slideshows, and animations, provide reinforcement of lesson content. As a boy, he entertained himself in his father's workshop by carving the separate letters of his name on soft wood. He placed them on his father's table when the H fell into a bucket of purple dye. He quickly retrieved it, and he let it rest to dry on a piece of paper. The impression it left on the paper and in his mind was indelible. This was where the concept of a printing press with movable type was born. It took some 40 years for the press to move from an idea to a reality. Building a press was expensive and required money, and it was money that he did not have. About 1450, a lawyer by the name of Johann Voss invested in Gutenberg's new enterprise. When Gutenberg ran into financial difficulties, Voss took legal proceedings against him, apparently won the case, and moved the press and tools to his own house in Mainz. As students study, 
it's important that they understand that what they're learning fits into a timeline of history. Any linked date or major event within the text of the lesson provides access to an interactive timeline. The timeline provides information about great civilizations, historical eras, significant events, and persons from history. At the end of the lesson, the student is presented with a series of questions that provide a review of lesson content. Questions are presented in a variety of formats, including matching, fill in the blank, true and false, nice job, multiple select, click and place, essay questions, and many more. You got the right answer. 85 to 90 percent of student work is graded instantly by the program. Answers are automatically saved as the student works through the questions Good and immediate feedback is given after each question has been answered. If a parent has set the program to allow for multiple attempts, students will be looped back through the lesson to answer questions that were marked wrong on the first attempt. Nice job! The lesson is complete when all questions have been answered correctly or when the student has exhausted his allowed attempts on each question. The student can then return to the home page to continue through the rest of his daily assignments.